another dead end here. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, 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 no. All right, all right. I admit we're coming up dry so far. I just wish I could figure out a way to get into that forward compartment, that's all. Hey, like you say, unless this thing is a lock that can't be picked, right? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Do not touch the door, will you? I saw, I saw contacts for alarm system when the steward came through. They probably have a body heat sensors wired in as well. Come on, I could probably get through it if I had time to study it. We don't have that kind of time, all right? All right, great. So what do we do? We do what we can do. We search this place thoroughly. Don't miss anything. All right. Well, well, well. It pays to persevere, doesn't it? What is it? This, my friend, is a marvel and a miracle of modern technology. Looks like some kind of communication system. No, it is just not a communication system. It is the communication system. Do you have any idea what this baby can do? No. What is it, um monitoring device or yeah it does everything hooks up the satellites and everything lights blinking what does that mean it means we're receiving something we'll just key it in you can't hold domino off forever you're gonna have to get a hold of that dragon bone and that emerald that's charlie i don't know what i'm saying i've tried everything yeah, it's mean, it's the it's yeah we'll try harder no you try harder your efforts haven't been any more successful than mine. All right, all right, all right. Arguing is not going to get us any place. Time is running now. Domino is not going to wait forever for us to come up with Ashton's lost relics. Now, if you want your part of the treasure, and if I want to get what I deserve, then we can't quit now. All right, I'll go back to the hotel and try to get anything more out of Ashton. Good. In the meantime, I'm going to search the ship again with a microscope if necessary. I don't get it. Why would Nicholas Van Buren want to bug the Aphrodite? Instead, I'm a complete drunk. Mm-hmm. 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 I really don't know if we could do that. I don't know if Simone should be cooking, especially in the condition she's in. Oh. You think? No. I don't yeah. Think I thought you'd be happy to be grown parents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Eight months? Eight oh, about seven now, I guess. Seven? Seven? Well, why didn't you let us know sooner? Well, just making sure everything was all right. Oh, got to be positive about it first, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay, of course. After all, Robert, my glasses, good idea to a well and happy life to my grandson. Wait, our granddaughter. Who's that, darling? No, no, no. Well, yeah. Well, you know, why not? No, there's nothing else for you. Just the four of us. Just haven't called mom and dad yet. Well, not for long. Actually, Father's death was very painful. We had been estranged in the last few years. I came back to poor Charles to let him know how much I cared. Well, I must say, you both have been behaving quite bravely. Well, Father never believed in public displays of emotion. What oh, bravery! My gracious me, what a coincidence. I didn't expect to see you here. Hello, Mother. Are you enjoying your meal? The meal was lovely, Doctor, and I must say the wine was remarkable, even if I do say so myself. Please, won't you join us? Thank you. Miss Cameron. Yes. Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry, but something urgent has come up. I must take care of it immediately. Dr. Cormay, would you be kind enough to take your lovely mother and Tracy home for me? Absolutely an honor. Thank you. 
Something's happening to me. I have to make that phone call now. Everything. <laughs> 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 Nothing. I guess Charlie and Yasmin must have taken off. Boy, who would have guessed that the two of them would be working with Domino? Let me ask a more serious question. Why would Van Buren really be bugging Ashton's yacht? Well, I mean, if Ashton's worried about this lost civilization, there's one huge fortune oh, of money. Oh, my, Colton, will you look around you? I mean, he was a man who travels in his own private jumbo jet. The man is not interested in money. Okay. No, no, Van Buren's game is power. Well, how does that explain his bugging the Aphrodite? The only reasonable explanation I can come up with is we are standing in the middle of Domino's headquarters. Nicholas Van Buren is Domino. <laughs> oh, this is great! I mean, that's it, we've cracked it! So all we do is we go to the WSB. Oh, no, 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 it's not going to be that easy. I mean, they're going to need more than my, just my, my instinct and, and some crazy communication system. What we have to get is incontestable proof. So? So we keep on through. Exactly. Okay. All right, Felicia. So, what now? What now? We get out of here. We're the only one who knows Domino's real identity. So our main option is to get out of here without being seen. All right, you're right. Let's do it. you want to see me? Um, yes, Mr. Drum, I don't want you to think that I'm not grateful for the jewelry. I really, truly am. Is there some kind of problem? Uh, um, well, it, it's beautiful, the jewelry. I, I love it, but, um, I wish you would take it back. It was very kind of you, but you see, I know, I really think that it's not right for me to have it. Frankly, you dear, I'm a little mystified and also a little hurt. Now, why would you want to give back these tokens of my affection? You're very nervous, you see. And you're starting to make me nervous. Is it possible you want to give these jewels back because your boyfriend is going to reopen the case against my daughter? I have to tell you this, Lucy. My displeasure can be a lot further reaching than my friendship. Is Baldwin going after my daughter again? No. Uh, uh, no, no, Mr. Drome. He's working on, on a completely different case. He, um, he, he's not even thinking of trying your daughter oh, again. Oh, that's good. You see how easy it is to reassure me. So we'll consider the matter settled. You wear the jewels, and you wear them in good health and long life. I think it's a shame that Steve and Audrey went home, otherwise we could all have a glass of wine celebration. Well, I think they went home to telephone every relative they can. <laughs> Won't you join us? Well, I don't think we can. Simone and I are going to have to curtail our nights for the next few months. Well, oh, perhaps you and your parents would come over to our house one evening for early supper. Well, we'd be delighted. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse us, I told Olivia I would stop by before I left. Sure. We do have to spread the good news. In other Thank words, you. tell half of the medical school. <laughs> I really think that's, that's really wonderful, bringing a new life into this world. It certainly is nature's way of ensuring us of the continuum. Oh, poetic, Ellen. So poetic. You know, I think this evening has gone on long enough. I, I, I'm tired and I'd like to go home. So soon, Mother? Oh, gee, Mother, the night's still young. I'm not sleepy, just tired. And if you want to know the truth, I'm tired of you two behaving like children who've been bad all the year round and are waiting for, for Christmas Eve. Is that how Father felt when he wrote the new codicil? That sounds so cold-blooded, Tracy. Oh, stop being a hypocrite, Alan. 
You know perfectly well you're just as curious as she is. Perhaps I am. I'm not ashamed of it. Mother, don't we deserve to know what's in the will? Your father was a very astute man. And his will reflects his belief in what is good for everyone that he cared about. But I'll tell you this much. In spite of all the bickering and backbiting that went on over the years, he loved you both equally. Well, I suppose half a love is better than none, even though I know that half is going to be squandered. Mm, for once, I couldn't agree with you more. 